1992, America elected a new president, William Jefferson Clinton, who had served two terms in office from 1993 until 2001. Like former President George Bush, President Clinton loved spending time on the golf course and enjoyed some world-famous playing partners. I remember the first time this is, uh, that I was asked to play with President Clinton, and uh, I wasn't a, a strong supporter of, of the president at the time. And I called up President Bush, and I said, Mr. President, I said, I've been asked to play with President Clinton in Australia. I said, uh, I'm not a real big fan at the time, but what do you, what's the protocol? And he says, President Bush says he's the President of the United States, you've got to respect his position, you should play. So I agreed to play and we had a great time. We still remain friends and I think that's wonderful. That That's what the game of golf brings you, that's the bondage that happens through our sport. Well, I like him very much. You know, we have unlikely friendship in a certain way. I mean, he, you know, he's not particularly uh, political in the American sense. But he, he agreed to spend a day with me in uh, Australia, and I'll never forget it. It was, I've had some wonderful days on the golf course with great players. Jack Nicholas was kind enough to play with me two days in a row in Colorado in 93. We played two days with Ford and Clinton. And uh, first day, uh, we played a country club of the Rockies, and uh, the president uh, took a few too many mulligans and shot a, shot a pretty high score. And the second day, I made him play golf. and. Uh, uh, he played pretty well, but uh, he, he's got a nice golf swing. He hits, hits the golf ball quite nicely, and uh, you know he loves, loves, loves to play the game. He loves golf. He is a golf fanatic. He is a real student of the game. Um, it's his true relaxation. When you go golfing with President Clinton and you're out on the golf course, you talk about nothing but golf. He is very competitive, as you can imagine. He hates to lose, and uh, he's just a load of fun to play with, but he is a real competitor. I just like to play. I get into it. I, I'm enthusiastic. I like to win. <laughs> I don't like to lose, but I like to play, and even the bad days are good for me now. He's pretty good, and he likes to play as much as he can, so a lot of the pictures that the press takes with him playing in the dark with uh, various folks, myself included, are all true, and it's not because uh, it's because he doesn't get a chance to finish, so he likes to finish, and it really doesn't... Uh, it's kind of a challenge to play in the dark. I keep telling him sometimes he plays better in the dark than he does in the daytime. I have never seen him take a score that wasn't his true score. So I take complete and total umbrage at the fact that, that people criticize him for trying to be a better golfer because the only time he gets to practice is when he plays. I think it's an unfair characterization to say that he takes a lot of mulligans. Way overrated. If he does take a mulligan out on the course, he still plays the first ball. But listen, this is relaxation for the president. And, um, if he does something wrong, he's going to try and fix it and see what he did wrong. He may have just flown 10,000 miles and got out of the car to go hit the ball. I think that once he gets a chance to play a good bit, it's one that he could become a, a pretty decent golfer. He can hit the ball pretty well, and he's got a good short game. So uh, I suppose that as he uh, moves on to a, a life outside the White House, he will be playing a lot of golf and, and probably could get pretty good. I, I'm not sure my golf game will improve very much because I, oh, I needed it so much when I was president just to get away from the office. February 15, 1995 was an historic day in golf at the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. President Clinton, President Bush, and President Ford teed it up in the Pro-Am with defending champion Scott Hoke and tournament host Bob Hope. It was the first time a sitting president had played during a PGA Tour event, and the only time three presidents had played together, ever. One of the worst rounds of golf I played in the eight years I was president, but at least I didn't hit anybody. <laughs> I'm always ragging George Bush and Gerald Ford about that. It was a danger zone out there. It was, da it was dangerous. Uh, I hit a woman named Mrs. Early, I think on the first hole, flattened her and uh, drilled her right in the middle of the forehead and b blood was oozing out and she was lying on her back. And actually, my side of it is that I hit the tree in the fairway and she took a bad shot and did in Mrs. Early. And I called her later and she said, oh, don't apologize, I'm very famous. My answering machine is overloaded with calls. Everyone knows who I am. I played better than I expected. 
I didn't hit a person. Well, my drives could be a little better, but otherwise I'm having a wonderful time. There were so many people there, it was actually tough to hit it very far in the woods because uh, I was going to hit somebody before it got too deep. But the people thought that was great. Actually, they, were, they almost looked like they were trying to jump in front of the ball just so they, say, they could say that they were getting hit by the president. The presidents are human beings, like you and, and me. And uh, they enjoy the game of golf. It means a lot to them. It gives them an opportunity to get the cobwebs out of their mind. Well, I think presidents have this passion for golf because it gives them an opportunity to get out of the Oval Office or get out of wherever it is, uh, get out on the course and totally concentrate on something other than the problems of the nation. There's a quote from Hayward Hale Brune that said, sports do not build character, they reveal it. And you learn a great deal about the presidents and what they were really like from seeing how they deported themselves on the golf course. It helped me perform much better for the American people, being able to go out and play golf. It gave me a chance to get away. If you're thinking about something else when you're playing golf, you're going to play very badly. There were some times when I would go out on the course and I would play five holes before I hit a decent shot. But eventually I would be able to give up the cares of the office, the pressures of the moment, and just throw myself into being in nature, being with a game I love, being with people I like. And it was about nothing but just being on the golf course.